just has to stay alive long enough for Banaji and Yoon. And I do believe that Shin can come in there and at least hold off Yoon. Sasuke the Savage here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Kingdom, chapter 559. First things first, to the people who guessed that Akakin was going to swoop in and save Akko, and believe me, there were people who said this. I just want to say, Did you guess it? You was motherfucking right! You guessed it. You was right. But even with people guessing that, I don't think anybody predicted exactly how this chapter was going to go down. Because now you have Ohan who's on the way to protect Akko. Which was pretty much the exact opposite of what I said was going to happen. Because I thought that Shin was going to end up killing Gakue. And in turn go to the aid of Akko. But instead you have Ohan. After hearing the news he decided he put his pride aside. Which surprised me. Uh, so I got to give props to Ohan because... He is a prideful dude. And him saying that, him saying that I'm going to leave this to Shin, that takes a lot, especially for that guy. That It takes a lot for him to say that. And he decides that he has to go to the aid of Akko. And not only because Akko is a commodity as a general, of course, him knowing Ozen's tactics to a T, things like that, it's because his death, the enemy parading his head around the battlefield would greatly deplete the morale of their army. Pretty much the only thing that I got right was that Akko was going to hold his own at least for a little while. I didn't think that anybody was going to save him from the initial glaive swing of both Yo-Un and Banaji. Uh, and you have to give Akko props, at least props that he stood tall against two pretty powerful motherfuckers by himself for a while there. I mean, they're, they're pretty much jumping him. <laughs> and one of one of Akko's best is like, yo, this ain't honorable, bro. Y'all straight up just jumping this nigga. Like, give him the ones. It's like, come on, man, give him the ones. And then, <laughs> and then, um, I don't know whose arm, it was probably Banaji's uh, the guy was probably a part of Banashi's army. He was like, bro, what the fuck you mean, what's up with the ones? Nah, this is a battlefield, bro. Y'all the ones who fucked up. So we taking advantage of y'all. It's like, it's whatever. And I want to get this issue out the way. And I'm not saying this because I've seen anybody say it. But if somebody has a problem with Akko being able to defend himself against these two monsters... I gotta advise you that Akko is the right hand man of General Ozen. Kyokai is a lieutenant of Shin. For some time, Ozen and fucking Kanki were under Mogu. Toh was the right hand man of Oki. Even Gyo'un, he was the right hand man of Ren Shoujo. So I wanna say again, I haven't heard anybody have a problem with it, but if anybody does have a problem with Akko standing tall against those two motherfuckers, just look at the past history of people who have been second in command to others. And I just advise you to think like it's not out of it's not like crazy to think that Akko stood his own against those two guys. And it's not like he was beating them or anything. He was just merely staying alive. And you have to give huge props to this nigga Akaki because this dude is crazy he came in with a throwing knives hit Gyo'un swooped in and just saved Akko all the while smiling and if you didn't know Akaki is pretty strong himself because it was said by Kanjo who Kanjo is a thousand man commander under Ohan currently he said himself that Akaki was wasted potential and not because of his talent or anything it's because his personality and he said that Akakin was someone who stayed forever at a thousand man commander rank so that tells you that he could possibly be higher maybe even three thousand commander 
5,000 commander, uh, that seems a little bit of a stretch. But 3,000 commander, I think that's a safe bet to see where he should be if his personality wasn't that of a crazy motherfucker. The problem now is that Banaji and Gyo Un are still there. Nothing's really changed. Is that they bought some more time. And Akakin himself isn't going to hold those two off. So now you have to have Ohan come in there and provide aid. And honestly, the best I can see, if if it's just Ohan, if it's just Ohan and Akakin, the best I can see is Akko escaping. That's it. They aren't going to beat these guys by any stretch of the imagination. And really, I don't even understand how they're going to get away. They, they're, they're pretty much going to have to like get lost in a shuffle of things because... Really, Banaji and Gyo Un should be on their ass if they try to escape because Ohan can't hold those two by himself. Something I would like to see happen, and no, this isn't a prediction. It's just something I would like to see happen. I would like to see Shin one-shot Gakue because, <laughs> I'm going to say it again every time, Gakue is a goddamn vessel of Keisha. Shin already beat Keisha. Gakue should be like, that's light work. You just... That's like trash. Shin, just going there, kill him real quick. And I'm hoping that he goes to the battlefield, uh, that side of the battlefield as well. Because like I said, Ohan, I don't see how the hell he's going to hold those two back while Akko escapes. One of them, Yo Un, probably should just blitz right past Ohan like, move, nigga. Just move. And with the absence of Shin on that battlefield, I would like to see Kyokai and Karyo Ten kind of dominate because Kyokai, she had that she had that one or two chapters where she was beast mode, but uh, other than that, not much in this whole arc from Kyokai. And with how things are set up, I don't really see Kyokai being in a position to take one of the generals' heads. So. Yeah, I just want to see her have her moment for once. All in all, I thought this was a great chapter of Kingdom because it far surpassed my expectations and it even did something better in my opinion. So yeah, great chapter. But guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Sasuke the Savage, out.